Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking with James. I am your host, James. Today, another simple and delicious cook. It is actually fall, it's almost mid-October, into fall, into winter. I love making this. We are going to be making some Zupa Toscana and the Ninja Speedy, but as a matter of fact, you can make this any time of year. It's good all year long, and it is way better than the Olive Garden recipe. Everybody that uh, I've made it for, uh, agrees. So let's go ahead and get into the cook. All right, so I just want to run through the ingredients what you're going to need real quick. All right, so first off, we've got kale. Look, if you are not a kale fan, I am not really either. Um, yes or no doesn't matter. The kale in this, you can't taste the actual taste taste of the kale. It just gives it a good crunch, good flavor. Um, so we got kale. Um, it's just one bushel of kale from the store. We're going to use three rusted potatoes. We got a half of a white medium-sized onion. Um, over here we got four cloves of garlic. We're gonna be using some bacon, any kind of bacon's good. Just got some regular bar S. And then we've got some Italian sausage, mild. You can use hot if you like. We're gonna be using 32 ounces of chicken broth or chicken stock, either one is fine. And then we'll be using some heavy whipped cream or whipping cream. All right, let's go ahead and prep this up. All right, so let's go ahead and prep this is real quick. So first we're gonna start with the kale. Now on the end of the kale, you have these uh, stems here. Go ahead and cut all that off. So they'll have quite a bit and just get rid of those. Those are kind of bitter. And then just cut these into bite-sized pieces. And then we're gonna go ahead and put this into a bowl. Then go ahead and cut your onion. Um, really simple, just go down the middle, what I do, like this, and then just go in. You just, I mean, self-explanatory. And then you just wanna make it, uh, get them all over here just like this, and then uh, cut them up just to small little pieces. So minced onion, and then just chop them up. Get them all minced. Well, that's that, and then the garlic, I'll finish that. And then the garlic, obviously take the outside off. Same thing, just go ahead and mince all that up. Get your garlic, go ahead, get in there. And same with the onion, I'll be uh, dice nose up real small as well, but just small little pieces of garlic. And the last thing as far as the prep goes, and this is super easy, um, now <laughs> the potatoes, Cut this enough. I just want to show you what size you want. So we're going to be cutting them fairly thin. Okay. So fairly thin this way. And then you're going to want to half those. So this is what you got. Little small coins. So that is how easy the prep is for the veggies and the stuff that goes into it. Oh yeah, sorry, I can't forget the bacon. So we got five strips of bacon here. Just cut them into small little pieces, just like that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the Ninja Speedy. All right, so we are at the Ninja Speedy. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and turn it on and make sure up here this little switch, you've got uh, rapid cook, but you wanna be on the air fry side. All right, and just to show you what we're using, we are not using the uh, pan inside, just the roasting pan is all we're using. And we are going to, on this setting down here, we're gonna click down to, it says sear and saute. And our temperature over here is gonna be on high. Go ahead and press start. Give it about two, three minutes to heat up. And then we're gonna put some sausage in. Okay, it's been about three minutes or so, just kind of preheating. Now we're gonna go in with our pound of sausage. Just put that in there. And all we're gonna do with the sausage, go ahead and cook the sausage all the way through. All right guys, after about seven minutes or so, your sausage should be done. So just make sure to cook it all the way through. This is done. Go ahead and transfer it to a bowl. All right, we're gonna transfer it all to a bowl and set it aside. All right, so now we got the sausage set aside, nothing in here, still hot, same setting, just keep it going. Now we're gonna go in with our bacon. Oh, sizzle, sizzle, bacon. And then, go ahead and cook the bacon all the way through. 
All right, so now the bacon is cooked. Took about seven minutes or so. Just make sure to cook it all the way through. We're gonna go in with our onions. Okay, now what you want to do with your onions, go ahead and saute these. Kind of going to start to brown, usually about three to four minutes or so. Mmm, that smells so good. All right, kick those around for a minute. All right, it's been about four minutes or so. The onions are brown enough, good enough. Now we're going to go in with our garlic. Oh, this is going to smell so good. So go with the garlic. And remember, we're still in the same uh, setting. Uh, saute, sear, high heat. So we are, oh, it smells so good. We're going to go around with this. We don't want to burn the garlic. So we're probably going to give this about two minutes or so. All right, it's been just over a minute. Um, everything is absolutely smelling amazing. So now what we're going to do is go ahead, we got our potatoes. Go ahead and dump all your potatoes in. All right, so we're gonna kind of get them flat in there. Then we're gonna go in with our chicken stock. We're using broth, that's fine. We got 32 ounces here, but what you want to do is Cover the potatoes. All right, so we got our broth in. Now go ahead and just stir it around. And we're still in the same uh, setting, same pre uh, salt or uh, temperature high, sear saute. We haven't changed it, not one time. So go ahead, let that sit with the lid open until it starts to boil. Should just be a few minutes. Okay, it took about eight minutes or so. Now it is just starting to boil. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and drop the top. This the camera lens here. Oh, all right, top is dropped. Bring it back out, there we go. And we're gonna give it probably about 10 minutes. We got our sausage here, we got nothing to add. So, with that being said, we'll see you in about 10 minutes. All right, guys, as you can see, it's been about 10 and a half minutes. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. And now all we're trying to do right here is just soften up the potatoes. And it should be the potatoes. A little steamy, but see if I can bring you in here just a little bit. Oh yeah, perfect. The potatoes, everything is perfect. Okay, so last couple of steps. We've got our sausage here. Go in with all that good. Yummy sausage. Go ahead and go ahead and mix it around. Oh my, the house smells phenomenal. My gosh, I can't wait to eat this. All right, and now we're gonna go in with one cup of our cream. Go ahead and get that in there. Go ahead and mix all this stuff up. And then all we're gonna do is just go ahead and let it, uh, let it, we haven't changed the temperature, nothing, nothing at all. We're gonna wait till it comes just to a little simmer, which would probably just be a couple of minutes. Be right back. All right, it's been about four minutes and it's coming to a nice simmer. Just wanna remind you, we have not changed the temperature setting, not one time. Go ahead and stir that up. Now for the last thing, uh, you won't see this, but I'm hitting the power button down here on the bottom. Turn your unit completely off. Now we're gonna go in with the kale that we had. Remember, if you're not a kale fan, don't worry. So I'm not a huge kale fan either. I can't eat kale or raw, I'm just not a big fan. But go ahead and get that in there. The unit is off. Everything is looking good. Just make sure to mash that down, mix it around. It'll start getting, you want it you wanna under the soup, in the soup. Yes, there we go. Get it down and in there. That is fire. Looking amazing. The house smells like a restaurant. Like I said, this is better than Olive Garden, 100%. Now, with the, um, with the unit off, go ahead and close the lid. And we're just gonna close it. It's not cooking or anything. We're just gonna close it just for a few minutes, like two, three minutes, leave it closed, open it up, we're gonna serve this, see you in a minute. All right, this is what we ended up with, Zupa Tusk. 
Americana, baby. That is so good. Potatoes cook perfect. Like I said, don't worry about the kale, the sausage, everything. It is still super, super hot, but I'm going to give it a try for you guys. Mmm. -hmm. Oh. Cooking with James. Tested and approved. Awesome. So, don't go anywhere. I'll meet you up top. All right, we are finished with the cook, and the Zupa turned out absolutely amazing. So good. Just and give it a shot. I don't. Some people don't even know what Zupa is. Zupa Toscana. Um, but if you don't, you need to, because it is awesome. And this is a great, great recipe. I love the Ninja Speedy. It does the job for everything I've done so far. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get my future videos on this and all kinds of other videos as well. Please give a thumbs up, share this video, leave an awesome comment. With that being said, we'll catch you on the next cook. Thanks for watching.